You can't get what you want. You can't grow, you can't shift, you can't turn things around without giving something up. You can't get what you want. You can't grow, you can't shift, you can't turn things around without the risk of giving something up. I'm sorry to say it, because more often than not, people want the things that they want. They want the change, they want the outcome, they want the new things, but they don't wanna lose anything. They don't wanna risk anything. They don't, they, they want the new things without giving up the old things. But if you're gonna grow, if you're gonna change, then change is gonna happen, growth is gonna happen. And so you can't go from where you are today to where you wanna be while still holding on with a tight, tight grip of all the things that you used to have. You just can't because the truth is that growth is going to cost you. I see it all too often, people who want more who want to grow, who want to be able to make their dreams happen, hit that next level. They want to make these things happen. And yet, deep down inside, they're desperately holding on to the things that they used to have. They want a better marriage. They want to be more patient parents. They want a, a bigger business or a bigger team. They want to be able to make more money. They want to level up their skills. They want more. You want more. They work for more. And yet, somehow, they bump up against the fact that they have to risk something for this new thing. Because there comes a time where the new things you're doing, the people you're listening to, the ideas that you have, the ambitions that you have, they're gonna start to bump up against your old life. The friends that you have, they don't understand what you're talking about anymore, why you're thinking what you're thinking, why you're doing what you're doing. The business that you worked so hard to build no longer feels right. It's just not what you need to be able to get to where you want to go. You know what I'm talking about, right? When you are on a growth path, your ideas, the way that you think, the things that you do, they change. And that change that comes from the hunger, that comes from the desire for more, that change causes friction in your life. Because while you are changing, no one else around you is asking you to change. And so it causes this friction, like this really uncomfortable tension because you have one foot in your old life and you wanna hold on to the things that you have and you have one foot in your new life in terms of all of the things that you want and the direction that you're going. And it is this terrible feeling because you're constantly pulled back and forth from where you were to where you wanna be and where you were makes you feel like you can't get to the future self. And the future self makes it feel like you're sacrificing so much and giving up so much of who you are. And the terrible truth is that if you do this for long enough, you will lose both. You will lose the momentum of who you could become and where you're going and you will alienate all of the people in your life for even just trying. And so if you stay in this middle camp long enough, you will actually lose both. You will lose who you were and what you had, and you will lose the things that you could have. And so growth is never easy. It's never easy. It comes with challenges. It comes with friction. It comes with its own risks. And I know this so, so well because I've spent the last few years struggling with this. I, I, I feel like I've wasted, not wasted, I feel like I've spent the last few years wanting to grow, wanting to change, wanting to challenge what I thought and what I was capable of. And at the same time, not willing or wanting to risk what I had, right? Like holding on and protecting all of the things that I had built, all of the things that I had, not wanting to put that at, on, at risk for what could be or not be. The things I could try and maybe fail at. And so like, you know, if you look at my home life, I, I wasn't really happy with it. You know, I had a solid marriage. I was an okay dad. I had a home that was pretty good. But my one word is extraordinary. Solid, okay, pretty good isn't enough for me. I want to create the type of marriage that my grandchildren look to as a model for what love and support and compassion and understanding and grace and forgiveness what it could be. I want to be the type of dad that gives my children a childhood that allows them and encourages them and supports them through love, but also through tough times, through mistakes, through hardship, 
striking that balance to be able to ensure that when they grow up, they realize that they are in control and that they are capable of doing anything, but it's gonna be a lot of hard work. And I wanna have a home that's warm and that's welcoming, but also represents who I am and is something that we can have people over to and have people be a part of um, and is something that I can actually be proud of, that it that that whether it's, you know, I don't know if it's superficial, but whether it's the style or whether it's the atmosphere or it's the environment or it's the type of home that we have, something that we can have people in on that just represents the values and the type of family we want to be and create. And so when I say these things out loud, you know, around my wife or to my wife, around my family, around those who know me, I run the risk of alienating them. Because if I say that my marriage is solid, but I want more, how does that make my wife feel? You know, does, does, it, does it make her feel like she's not enough? Like she's not doing enough? Like, why aren't I happy with what we have? When I say that I want to be a better dad, when I say that I want a different type of home, what about all of those people who I already have so much more than? You know, I have friends who aren't able, you know, to conceive or have kids. And so when I say that I want more from my kids or for my kids, how does that make them feel? When I say that, you know, I want more for my home or my home life, how does that make those who have less than me feel? I run the risk every time I put myself out there and declare that I want more. And every time that I try to raise the bar and challenge myself, I run the risk of alienating myself against those who I care about and who have been along with me on this ride. And so what if the people around me are happy with what we have, but I'm not? What if the people around me hear me saying that I want more and think that I'm not grateful for what I have? What if I say that I want more and I try and I fail in front of them along the way? And so it doesn't matter what this is for you, whether it's work or career or business or relationships or home life or fitness or anything. It doesn't matter the area of your life that you're working on. You want more. You need to be challenged. You need to grow. And just by that happening, you run the risk of losing what you have to gain what you want. But make no mistake about this, that growth is going to cost you something. But please hear me, it is so worth it. It's worth the risk in every sense of the word. It's worth the sacrifice because every single person is on a growth path, whether they want it or not, whether they know it or not, they are on a path of growth. And so you can't expect to keep yourself or those around you in a box, in a bubble, tied down the way that things were. Things are changing. They will not stay the way they were. You cannot keep people the way that they were. You are changing and they are changing. But know that if you just accept this and you welcome it, that one of two things are gonna happen. The first is that you're gonna meet new people. You're gonna meet new people along a similar growth path to, to you, which gives you the chance for new opportunities, which give you the chance for new relationships, to make new friends, to be challenged by these new people that you come in contact with. You will meet new people who will be able to help you for this point of the life that you're in. And the second thing that might happen is that this change that you show to those in your life, you may inspire them to also change. And that inspiration for them to change may take them on their own path further away from you, but it actually might take them on a path closer with you. Your desire for change might unlock within them something that they didn't even realize that they were yearning for. And when they see that you do it and you're able to do it, they too may start down the same path and it may actually bring you closer together. So yes, growth is going to cost you something. You can't expect other people to make the growth easy for you. Your growth will cost you relationships and it may ask you to step out of your job. It may ask you to risk starting that new business. It may ask you to risk raising your hand and saying something that makes you incredibly uncomfortable and is something that you wouldn't normally share with people. Your growth is gonna cost you something, but the benefits, are so incredibly worth it. The things that you learn, the people that you meet, building the type of extraordinary life that you want to build can only come from embracing the fact that that growth will cost you something. And it is a price that in the long run, you'll look back on and say, I'm so glad I paid. If you like this video on growth, I actually think you'd like this message a lot too. Please check it out and I will see you there.